Hello guys, we're back around the campfire again. But uh, you may notice it's a bit different this time, so I did start again. I wanted to apply some new stuff I've learnt about the game to uh, our new, you know, round. And uh, yeah, so I did some record. You know, I was recording the last again, like a part two from the last game, and we did ran into a skeleton, and uh, we killed the skeleton, and then the game crashed, and uh, sadly the fraps recording was a bit corrupt, sadly. So I can show that off. I reloaded it back up and it did save right afterwards. But there had been quite a gap there. And, you know, I'd made quite a few rookie mistakes. So I thought we'd, you know, just go, go start new again. And hopefully, you know, do a bit better. So uh, first things first. Let's see what we got here. Got woodchopper and miner, archer, forager, stone mason, builder, farmer. Right. So you, a miner... Who else had woodcutting skill? Did anyone else have woodcutting skill? You had two, you had one, one, and one. Hmm. Well, I think for now we'll do stonemason. You, you're not actually doing anything useful, so you can just kind of go chop down these trees nearby. Forager, you can go and get some. Ooh, excuse me, you can go get some bushes. And you, you're an archer. Hmm. Hold on to you for now. And uh, just get tons of these trees in the nearby vicinity, order to cut down. We'll keep that one there because it's got some colourful branches on it. Branches on it. Now already, um, I've seen the comments from the first video, and you know, there's been some unfair comparison. Oh, oh. <laughs> looks like we're just eating turnips. Turn up farm there, and we get some flax seeds. So let's go here, just get there. So yeah, I'm already on seeing some, you know, unfair con comparisons. And I missed that it was kind of my fault a little bit when I started the video off saying, this is a lot like Dwarf Fortress. And I put what I sh should have said, instead of, you know, Dwarf this is Dwarf Fortress degree, I should have said, this centers around a similar theme to Dwarf Fortress in that you build a settlement and you gather resources but you know that's that's really the only similarities to it and you, I guess you could say you, you know, actually that is really all these similarities so far and random crap happens obviously like you get attacked by a skeleton but you know yeah and then some people have been saying it's Dwarf Fortress means Minecraft and once again that's like Saying that any block great game is, you know, that meet Minecraft, which is once again I think an unfair comparison, because it's nothing like Minecraft. In Minecraft, you got your little first person thing, and you you go around, and you hit at coal blocks and iron blocks, and you punch trees and you build stuff. It's a creative game where you just build stuff really, and it does have a survival mode and it's got adventure stuff, but that's really just tagged on. Whereas this game is nothing. It, I mean, you could you could build some creative stuff in it, but it, its focus is on survive, like keeping a settlement alive. So, uh, let's just grab some stone there. Let's grab these random blocks. Oh, I didn't like doing that. Might as well get that. Get that one. And yep. And where's oops, don't wanna quit. Nope. Nope. Don't wanna do that. Did I do that alright? Shift. Oh you can't get rid of destinations, can you? Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh well. Oh well. And off he goes. But yeah. So let's see, who do we have left? We have you, Builder. And we're actually going to make you a carpenter for this, for now. Just so we can get this uh, workshop going. Um, there must be a way to rotate things, but I don't know how you do it. Oh well. Oh well. I'm sure, I mean, we'll work it out later, I guess, won't we? So, uh, as I said in the other video, I thought we might try and do 
I kind of like a dwarf fortress thing. I, I'm not making that. I'm gonna. We're gonna have a little underground base. So, uh, which will be exciting. Because uh, so far in all the videos I've seen from the creator, it's kind of it's more focused on like an above castles and a sort of thing. But I thought, you know, we might as well just give that a go for now. So we'll do the same thing we did here, just get two of each. Always need to make sure you have spares. Oh, sign of the axe. I wonder what these numbers here are for. That could be the time of the day. I don't know. Let's see which week two it goes up. Oh, you know, that could be our worth. Nope. Yeah, that, that could actually be the worth of our settlement. So, um, in this game, what determines, like in Dwarf Fortress, um, I'm not sure how fully incorporated this mode is so far in this game, but in Dwarf Fortress, when you, uh, depending on how well your settlement is doing, so it's usually the value of all the items in your fortress and all the dwarfs and stuff, and they kind of add it to the value, that determines when bad stuff comes to ruin your day. And I think a similar system is going to be placed in here, which is which I think is a really good system, because you know it's always nice when bad stuff comes and fucks up your shit. <laughs> it's one of the it's definitely one of the appealing factors to War Fortress. I think the losing is fun thing, and this this is you know another cool concept of this game: losing is fun. I guess I think I'm accidentally strengthening the arguments that this is a lot like Dwarf Fortress. Or like a clone of Dwarf Fortress, but it isn't. So, uh, let's see, where is our forager guy? Where'd he go? I don't want to see him. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll just tab through them all. Jesus, he's gone far. Let's take a little thing there. Poke through the forest. Well, we're running back to camp. And then what we do, take off that. Quick bow and arrow. And we can go take him chicken hunting too. Yeah, chicken hunting sounds good. Okay, let's see. What are we doing for resources? Got. Have we only got four wood logs? Wow. He's a really shitty wood guy, isn't he? Oh well, maybe he's getting better. Hopefully he's getting better. So let's see. Do we have enough? How are we doing for this? Animal fat's all we need. So, hmm. We need to kill more chickens so we can get feathers and stuff. Is that guy back yet? No, he's not back yet, is he? He went far, so it wouldn't surprise me. I he was over there somewhere. No, he's... Okay, he decided not to come all the way. Okay, well, we'll just tell him to hunt for chicken. Should we uh, watch him kill this chicken here? Poor chicken. Oh. <laughs> I love how the chicken just kills over. <laughs> Great feature. Or well, not really a feature, but <laughs> I love it. So one of the things to me that makes this game attractive is the art style. Because it's... Move out of the way, I need to... Uh, is the art style, yeah, because the art style's good. I really like it, the little, kind of, the tiny voxels and stuff. Uh, it reminds me of, uh, Cube World, if you guys have seen that. Because that looks like an, that looks like a really fun, awesome game. And that looks really good. It looks really nice. So if you haven't seen that, I recommend you go check that out somewhere. It's not out yet. But uh, uh, when it's out, you can expect me to do something about it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Where did I guy go? Wasn't he just? We've lost him already. Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh well. So when an enemy appears, usually someone spots him, and a little message in red will appear down there. Oh no, it's getting dark. <gasps> and we have enough. 
should we, we put one here? I really want to know you rotate things. Oh, there we go. No. no. Oh, no. Oh, no, there's a skeleton. Is he actually shooting? I can't tell. There we go. Oh. Spiders as well. Oh, God. Good shot. Oh, no! No! He's gonna die. Oh. Can I turn you into infantry, man? Go, go kill him. Do we have any swords? We do. Let's get a bronze sword. No, stop going cut that tree. You gotta run from the skeleton. Uh, spider. Oh no! I hope he kills it. Come on. Oh no, that's bad. Where's the other guy? <laughs> oh, they built that. <laughs> I didn't mean to build that. Oh no! <laughs> Friendly fire and he was killed. <laughs> oh, look at all this red stuff. That's not good. We need to get some more arrows. Are you injured then? He's in good health, okay. Hmm. Well, we'll just get you back to mine for now. Where do those spiders and stuff go? They just like van uh, appeared out in midair. Oops, I keep clicking escape. That's sad. That's a farmer too. That's a farmer. How are we doing on wood? Oh, I need seven logs. Not good. I'm going to get one of these guys to farm. Yeah, I think we're going to get you to farm for a bit. Just because that flax is really helpful. I heard an arrow. Oh, that's just him. Killing his chickens. Um, how are we doing for arrows, by the way? It's a pretty good idea to look at. Ten. Mm. Not ideal. Oh, we've got armor too, actually. We should probably give him armor. Seeing as he's probably going to be... Oh, no. He's not going to be us. Where's our... Yeah, we'll give him armor later. But, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh that's so sad. <laughs> oh, poor guys. We had such young lives, so full of potential. So full of potential. I'm not sure how we're going to live on, to be honest. Guess this means we need to quickly s speed up our little fortress underground. Yes! Level 2 carpenter, good job. So we've got some good news. Some good news. Right, so we should get you. You wood chopper? No, you're not a wood chopper. You don't. Yeah, you're a builder though. And a f oh, you're a farmer. You go do the farming. And you go back to wood chopping. We have completely ran out of hose, apparently. <laughs> Never a good thing. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I didn't make any extra, did I? You, I want to select you. Good. Just make you carpenter. Oh my god. Oh, a ninja carpenter. Let's fix that then. Oh, that's awful. Oh, I can't believe we lost him. So we're going to put our secret base inside here and we'll put like a tiny wall around it, I think. And we'll make it out of stone, obviously. Because we have a lot of stone, hopefully. 
let's see how we're doing here. I reckon if we could go down one more level. One more level will be good. <sighs> wow, that was fast. Well, that was a lot of action already. If any... I can't believe my guy shot him. He shot a lot of fun. That's so sad. It's painful. We, are ha we need to make a funeral for them somehow. Um, should we make them graves? Yeah, we'll make them graves. Little graves over here. Um, Sally won't be able to put the bodies in them, but we can at least make graves for them. Yeah, two graves. And we'll put, like, some wood in them or something like that. Or stone, just to mark the spot. Right, so you're done with that. So you can go back to... Mining. I've lost our wood car. I can't see him. It's just so dark. Oh... I wonder if it, there's weather in the game yet. If not, I think that's a plan. I'm not sure. I think it's a plan future. What I forgot to do. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I didn't forget to do it. It's alright. It's all good. I can fix that. So, we, how much stone do we have? We must have a fair bit here. Only 16. Hmm. I hope we get some migrants soon. Ooh, copper. Nice. Let's see, do we have enough for more arrows? Because arrows seem to be the way forward. He's actually going to hit a bench. Awesome. He's not as ninja as this guy, I guess. Okay, here's a, here's, this is where we're going to build our secret fort. So we do a little passage like that, and then we do some. We do a little passage like that for now. Why can't we build there? Oh, there's something there, isn't there? Hmm. I keep pressing the door fortress keys to go up and down the three levels. Okay, so here. What should we use to mark the spot? Build. Do we get some filled stone? Yeah, let's let's get some filled stones. We can build materials and we'll make two filled stones. And then when you're done we'll make you a we'll set you back to farmer for a bit. Where's our All the keys stop working. Um, why aren't you digging? What's stop it? Why aren't you digging anymore? Dig. Okay, good. Ooh, just make this path bigger. Do that. But yeah, it's not switching between our guys, is it? Huh, strange. Have we lost one of them? There's no way we to see him in this darkness at all. I'm going to have to wait till day time, I guess. Who knows? He could be dead and lost and missing. He could be. That would be, be sad. Okay, well, we'll set you to Mason. we get those two things built. Go for it. And are you going to start making them? Oh, we need a stones mason this bench, don't we? I'll explain that. No, I don't want to quit. <laughs> I keep pressing escape. There we go. 
<gasps> Is that campfire gone out? I don't run out of wood. That's cool. Didn't know that. Do we have enough more lampposts? Iron, we need more iron. We'll sort that out later. Um, we actually need to get two more of these, don't we? Okay, there we go. I think it's getting lighter now, which is good. Oh, yeah, I realised why it wasn't digging. It's because I only dug it one level up, didn't I? Oh, well, that's solved now. Oh, no, we're out of pickaxes, aren't we? Nope, never mind. How many do we have left? One stone pickaxe left. So I want to probably throw a bunch of those on. No, not iron ones, I want stone. Let's throw a bunch of those. Good. Wait, how much wood have I got left? Just one. Ooh, one wood log, not good. Not good at all. Hmm. Can you not dig like little... There you go. And that will be their little designated graves, I guess. Um, so we'll set you to a building, and then we'll set you to go cut some wood after that. Let's so go build that. I don't want to set you to cut wood, though, until, you know, it's kind of daytime. I mean, the tilde key stopped working, so I can't shift between all the units for some reason. Which isn't good at all. Um, yeah, my keyboard doesn't run out of batteries, so that's not the problem. There they are. Maybe we should build like a little fence at the end as well, just to kind of like, be like a two uh, headstone sort of thing. Why did we not make two? Uh, four, sorry. Just quickly add you back to the queue. Set you as a stonemason. Go, go work. Go work like you've never worked before. Got a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, let's see how are we doing down here. Doing all right. I've realised that those are actually going to be a little off now. But oh well, we'll fix it later. No, no, no problem. No problem at all. Okay, cool, we've done that. So we'll get you back to Builder, finish that off. And then we'll go tell you to go cut some trees down. <sighs> oh, I, don't, I don't even know what the names were, to be honest. No, too far. It's right around here, wasn't it? Oh, you keep jumping down whenever a new item comes. There it was. So, Leopold was the archer. And... Oh! He now just turned to arrow purses. Fernando's heart and kill him below. That's sad. Oh, it's early morning now. Nice. Well, we're going to have to get you on wood chopping duties. Um, definitely want some more trees to be cut. Literally going to deforest this whole area. I don't know. I hope those trees grow back. Who's that? How can that sound be playing? He's not even chopping a tree. Is that a little bug there? Must be. What are these? Oh, it's a mountain. Didn't notice. I have a feeling we might have actually lost the other guy. Hmm. Well then, guys. You must still be out there somewhere. Oh, damn. 
There you are. Do you think you ran out of arrows? Because if you did, that would be bad. Weapons. Nope, 28 arrows. That's good. Did he kill all the chickens? It must be that. Well, anyway, on that note, we found him. Get back here. Come on, man. Run. And, uh... Wait a second. I had another guy. I forgot about you. Completely forgot about him. Oh, okay, that's alright. That's good. Well, uh, let's see what we're doing. Stone pickaxes, and we're just quickly throwing two fences. These kind of like the headpieces. And there we go. So we ended there, I think, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to it later. So, see you later, guys. Bye bye.